Hello and welcome to the latest video for thatictsite.com. In this video we're going to look at Packet Tracer. It's going to be a quick tutorial on how to use Packet Tracer, what basic features are available, just to give you an overview and allow you to get started and explore on your own. Okay, so let's make a start. So this is the screen you see when you first load Packet Tracer. Uh, I'm running version 5.3.2. There won't be any vast differences uh, if you're using a different version. Uh, you might just see some slight differences in some of the options. Okay, so the uh, most important thing is to actually learn how to use it. So let's get started. Down the bottom left here, where my mouse is now, there are a number of icons. So if we click on that, end devices, that gives us a number of different end devices that you might be able to use in a network. So um, there's more of these in the, the later versions like this one. There's less of them in the earlier versions. Uh, but for instance, you can just put a standard PC on or you could put a laptop on. Okay, So if we go uh, click on the PC, uh, we get this window which um, allows us to configure the PC. So if you scroll down, you can see the PC has actually got a, a wired network card in. If, for instance, we wanted to put a wireless card in, we start by turning the PC off with the button, and then we scroll back down, we drag the card away, and we put this new wireless network card in, and then we scroll back up and turn the PC back on. Okay, simple as that, um, and we can put all sorts of different cards in, but that's just one example. Okay, the final thing to look at the PC is the desktop. So if you click on the desktop tab, uh, there's all sorts of different things there. So the IP configuration is quite an important one. That's one that we will use uh, to configure an IP address. You just type them into the boxes. Uh, the command prompt is another one that's absolutely vital. Uh, we use that for doing things like the IP config command. Okay, so this is all the commands that you would uh, normally use in DOS. You can do things like ping, trace route. Okay, uh, the terminal window, uh, if we're connected through a console cable, we could connect to the router um, through the console cable this way to complete a configuration. You'll certainly do that in some of the labs. Uh, the rest of them at this stage, you might use the web browser. Um, not very important, uh, although if you need to use them, you know, there's all sorts of things there. There won't be as many in the earlier versions, but the later versions are quite in depth. Okay. Uh, Top left, we've got routers. Okay, so if we're going to um, create a network, simulate WAN links, we would use routers. So again, we can drag the router on. I'll drag the 2621XM on in this case. Click on it, and you get the physical thing first. The physical tab shows you the different modules that you can put in. Again, it's got a power switch. We need to turn the power switch off before we can insert a card. The one you're going to use all the time is the WIC 1T. So if you select a WIC 1T and then drag it into the appropriate slot. Okay, and power the router back on. That simple. If you click on the CLI tab, um, that will show you um, where you can configure the router. At the moment, it's just booting up because we uh, turned the power back on. There we go. That prompt, um, you'll see that in Packet Trace, you'll see that in real life. That prompt says this router is brand new, it has no configuration. Um, and would you like us to do an auto configuration for you? The answer is almost certainly always no, I would not. Okay, and I won't go any further with that. I'll cover how to configure a router on later videos. Okay, uh, switches are next. Switches work in exactly the same way. So we do a 2950T. We go under a switch. Uh, the physical aspects of a switch, they're not modular. Um, so there's nothing we can actually add to a switch. So we can just, again, go under the configuration section uh, and the switch prompt says we're ready to go. Um, I'm not going to go through the switch configuration here. Again, that's something that will come in a later video. Okay, uh, we could use hubs. Uh, we're not really going to use hubs very much. Wireless devices. There's the Linksys wireless device. Okay, you might be familiar with using this one in the lab. Uh, you can actually go into the GUI, graphical user interface, and configure this just as you would in real life okay so there's all the settings there and again configuring one of these is something that i will go through uh, in a separate video but just to show you how to get to it okay uh, and you can see there actually we put the wireless card in the pc and it's uh, it's made itself an association with our wireless router straight away okay so i'm going to put another pc on um, and then i'm going to show you some cabling okay so all the different types of cabling are down here and if you hover over it, it will tell you uh, in this box what the cable is. So copper straight through, copper crossover, 
fibre, foam cable, coaxial, uh, and then serial DC and DT, which I'll come on to in a moment. Okay, so if we're going to connect a PC to a uh, router, we'll use a copper crossover. Click on the PC, it says, Where do you want to plug it into? Fast Ethernet, please. And then you click on the router and it says, Where do you want to plug it into? You've got a choice of Fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 or Fast Ethernet 0 slash 1. Okay, we'll go to 0 slash 0. And you'll notice these red dots. These red dots say the connection is not active, okay, because we've not configured an interface on the router, they won't come up. This little cross here allows you to delete things. So if you click on the cross, click on what you want to delete, and it disappears. What I'll do now is connect up to the switch using the copper straight through. Obviously, the switch has a lot more ports. Okay, and you will see the PC's got a green light and the switch has an orange one. The switch is going through its spanning tree protocol boot up process, which I won't go into now. That's about three videos in itself. Um, but after about 55 seconds, the PC and the switch will both go green, which says they have physical layer connectivity. Okay, on the left hand side here, we can use um, protocol data units or we can we can do like a, a graphical ping test so if you click on one of those you'll notice it's now got green there click on the device you want to send it from and the device you want to send it to switch nor has no functional port so it'll bring that up if you've not actually configured an IP address which we haven't okay we could try it there but again ah oh, there we go successful See, that window reports our success uh, because the ping was actually sent from one from the PC to the wireless router. Okay, uh, moving on to these uh, serial cables, they're the ones you'll use quite a lot. Uh, we need two routers for those and we need to check we've got uh, WIC cards in both of them. So I'll turn that off, pop the WIC 1T in as we did before, turn it back on. Okay and then go back to the cables. Okay, so uh, one PC, uh, sorry, one router will always be the DCE, I, it will set the clock rate. Okay, so um, we click the one with the clock, we'll click the, uh, the router that we want to be the DCE, we choose a serial interface, so zero slash zero, we choose the router we want to connect to, again, we've just got one interface on there. Okay, and again, you see the red dots signifying that the router is not up. If you hover the mouse over the, uh, the red dot, it will tell you which port it's connected to. So in this case, serial zero slash zero. And the DCE end will display the little clock symbol, as you saw there. If you hover over the router, it will actually give you a pop-up showing you uh, what the IP addresses are and the interface statuses are on the different interfaces on that router. Okay, that can be quite useful when you're doing diagnostics just to save you going into the uh, command line every time. Okay, I think that just about covers the basics that you'll need uh, with Packet Tracer. Um, there may be uh, another video at some point uh, later on that's a bit more in depth. But at this stage, I'd just like to thank you for viewing with thatictsite.com uh, and point you in the direction of any of our other tutorial videos. Thank you very much for watching.